Hey there, so today I'm going to uh, short little video on how to uh, enter and exit a vehicle using UFPS. So basically uh, what I'm creating is, um, I'll just show you real quick. So I've got this fancy hover car, now I'm driving it, and then um, You'll see in the upper left, I've got a GUI that turns on. So if I hit the letter Z, I'm no longer in the vehicle. And then I can come over here to this helicopter. So you can see I still got my weapons and everything. Go to the helicopter. And then I can fly the helicopter. And then same thing, uh, I've got a GUI on the top left, Z, and I'm out, and I can move around. Um, so that's basically what we're going to do. Um, someone asked me if to make it so that the camera doesn't jump, but um, I mean it kind of jumps. So Because on this helicopter they use a separate camera. And the um, the car, I've got it set up where it's got a camera inside of it. So there's a camera right here at this position that's pretty much part of the car. Um, so you still kind of have to jump. I don't think it's that noticeable. But anyways, um, that's what I am going to be making. Uh, so in this video we are using Ultimate FPS. Uh, this version is 1.4.9 as of January 19th, 2015. Um, I also found on the Asset Store, I just grabbed this basic helicopter. Uh, the only thing I imported, um, I did the, the screw. I didn't do any of these um, project settings uh, because it said that it would overwrite the program. So I pulled this in and as an example vehicle to use and I also um, on the, uh, I'll have a link to this, on the uh, Unity live training uh, back in December they did a hover car and so basically I grabbed the hover motor and the hover audio just straight out of this, just copy and pasted to make my hover car and tweaked it around. And the helicopter I just pulled in as is. So for my hover car, I just created this fancy little Pro Builder car, and I'm using the new Vertex painting just because I wanted to try it out. You can see it's uh, different colors and stuff. Um, so I've got my Pro Builder car. Um, I added a rigid body, locked it uh, X and Y rotation, added the hover motor script onto it, and these are the settings that I use, so if you want to change your settings, that's what I have. Um, for the audio script, I've got a, uh, so you have to add an audio source, I just add this spacecraft hover sound that I've got, and then I dragged this audio source onto here. Um, I've got a mesh collider pro builder. I made it a convex, so it's going to come in concave. So I wanted it conca convex so it'll collide with stuff properly. And then, where is it? I added a box collider. You'll see the box letter here. I m made it generally, um, you know, larger on the sides than the vehicle, so it's five on the sides, and the rest of it is uh, pretty close to proportions of the vehicle. And then I've got my script. Um, you'll see this. Uh, I've got a canvas, so. I created. Oh, where's my hover car? 
Um, so I've just created a basic uh, UI canvas and I threw a text on it. I just locked it to the top left and I just put C exit vehicle. It's just a little helper what to do. And then same thing for the helicopter. I did some really basic canvas with text. So I have these two as objects so I can turn them on or off. Um, so that's what this canvas is and then this extra box collider I have it is trigger. Uh, if we look at the helicopter um, it comes with this box collider so this is the one in the middle I just made it smaller uh, because I wanted to be able to get in this area like I'm walking up to the helicopter to get in or out um, I changed the left and right. This was on like arrow or something like that, the arrow keys, which didn't make any sense. So I'm using the mouse one with A and D. That's the only thing I changed here. I didn't change anything else on this. And then I added another box collider. Uh, this is my trigger, and you'll see it's I've got it a ways outside of it. Um, and then I've got a reference. Um, so this is my script down here. So I've got a reference to the helicopter camera because it's separate. Um, so the target is the helicopter. I could have used this for the cars too, but I'm trying to make it easy. Um, and then also on the helicopter, I have a. I added this. It's called a player exit point position. It's just an empty game object. So you'll notice that the empty game object is outside of my uh, trigger zone. So here's my trigger zone and there's the exit position. So for me I just made the exit uh, 5 off to the side. Um, I did a similar for the my uh, fancy hover vehicles. So I've got one here so there's a player exit position. So notice it's back here behind it. Um, same thing over here. And then for these, like I said, the camera is just part of it. Um, so I have two different scripts, um, basically the same script. Um, so for so notice on okay, so for the helicopter, we have a different camera that I'm attaching and for the vehicle the camera is actually a child so you got the parent the child here you got the helicopter and the cameras they're separate so I'm gonna um, have a link to the um, unity forum the UFPS forum uh, where these scripts are, but I'll go over them real quick. Um, I just called it red underscore interact vehicle and the other one is red underscore interact free helicopter. Um, so for the hover, um, I'm just declaring that I want to set up what this vehicle is, so I've just got a reference to the transform the vehicle. Uh, I probably don't need that, but I, I wanted to be clean so and then since my car the two scripts that control it are the hover motor and the hover audio I'm using here's a reference to hover motor and I'm just calling it my hover motor so this is going to be whatever script you use to control it so if we if I flip over to the helicopter my motor is actually they only have one script on it and it's called CS helicopter see CS helicopter so basically I'm getting a reference to that um, for this one I had to also get a reference to the audio source so I could turn it off so um, these two scripts are similar follow one and you should be able to understand the other so I've got a reference to my audio. This is my camera for the vehicle. Uh, this is that player exit position. And then here's my canvas. 
so I can turn my GUI on or off. And then this is uh, for UFPS player stuff. So I'm grabbing my player just as a game object. I'm grabbing my VPFP controller, which is on the, I'm just using the hero. So there's the controller, VPFP controller. I'm grabbing a reference to that. I'm grabbing a reference to the input script as well. And then I've got a Boolean uh, just to tell me whether or not we're inside this, this particular vehicle. So Boolean is this vehicle equals false. So if it's false, we're not using this vehicle. If it's true, we are. So on start, I'm setting my this vehicle. I'm grabbing my hover motor. I'm grabbing my audio. I'm grabbing my camera. And I'm turning them off. So hover audio enabled is false. Um, hover motor is false. And camera, since it's a game object, I'm doing set active. And here I'm doing just uh, if my canvas, if, if we actually have a canvas, then I'm going to make it false. Um, flip over here to this one, it's similar. So I've got my vehicle, my motor, my exit position, my sounds, so that I'm grabbing that audio source, and I'm turning everything off. Um, in the fixed update, it's really short. Um, Basically, I'm saying if we're in the vehicle, then if we hit the key code of Z, then we exit the vehicle. Um, so here's our exit, exit vehicle. So um, we're going to skip this. So let's go down to the end. So I've got my trigger. Um, that's the area that we showed. Uh, so for the car, so that's this box around it. So if the object that collides with this trigger has tagged the player, and um, if the boolean for this is false, then the player can get in it. Um, I was trying to set this up just in case you've got multi -player, multiple players going on, but this right here is going to mess it up. So um, this getting key code will probably, if one person's in one vehicle and another one's in another one, this probably won't work pro pro properly, so you'll have to fix that. Uh, but for this scenario, everything works. So here I've got my player. Um, I'm just setting up my player, my controller, and then I'm going to go ahead and enter the vehicle. So entering the vehicle, I'm turning off my player, enabling my vehicle stuff, camera, audio, turning on true, and I'm making my canvas true. Uh, when we hit Z, that's what's here, change it to whatever you want, um, I'm going to do the opposite. So player's true, um, the controller. So I'm grabbing my controller, I'm moving the player's position to the exit position, just the transform of it. Um, I'm enabling the input. If you don't do this, it acts kind of strange sometimes. So turning off my uh, vehicle stuff and turning off my canvas. And on my helicopter, it's just about exactly the same. Um, I just for the camera I had to set it active so the setups are the same I just use my motor instead of the other one so you're gonna have to customize this for your vehicle and this script is so short um, so you should be able to just copy and paste and then change it uh, typically I do references to everything but I didn't this was such a basic script that I figured I would just do it this way Alright, I hope that makes sense. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.